time in the spotlight. I feel a huge injustice has occurred here today, and it needs addressing. And what's that? Well, this chap has the hair of a paedophile. <laughs> What's up, Nightmare Legion? It's I. Ooh, nice little stretch. It is I, the resident Nightmare Creature, your local legend, legendary buggy night. And tonight, what we got here? We got Arkham Horror. Now, I don't know much about this game. I want to see if I like it. It's a top-down horror game. Um, it's done in an RTS style. It is um, technically RPG, I guess. Um, from what I understand, it's like, uh, like, like, uh, as I put in the description, it's like, um, XCOM meets Darkest Dungeon. This is, uh, an Eldritch Horror game, and I have to manage insanity. So, uh, also while fighting, um, I guess the, uh, the creatures of the, uh, the, the, uh, the outer realm. Okay, so let's figure it out together. If you like what I'm doing, you'll love the legends I play with down in my, uh, followers list. And uh, they'll keep you coming day or night. Thank you to the new members of the Legion. Welcome to the Void. We got uh, Dippin X, uh, Striker, and uh, Illusionary Stream. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining up. Uh, All Hill Doom. Yeah. Hey, Red Rum. What is going on? Come to see me die in this XCOM horror game. <laughs> I'm doing okay. And yourself? Hope to see you tomorrow. I'm playing uh, Alien Isolation. What are you doing this fine night? What do we got here? What is this? <laughs> what is going on? I guess I get to pick a character. Yeah, I'm finally going to try to put that one to bed. Um, at that beat that, I will getting back to uh, uh, Vampire Masquerade Swan Song. Uh, that'll be every Sunday now, after I beat I Alien Isolation. And uh, I'm trying to see if this is what I want to play every Saturday night. Uh, I was supposed to do uh, Tokyo Dark Remembrance, which is another horror game, but um, it's a psychological horror game, though. Um, but I wanted to see what this was about. You know, uh, I've had it for a while now. 
I want to go ahead and give it a shot. <sighs> uh, who's this guy? With uh, doctorates in both history and archaeology, as well as expertise in ancient languages, Harvey Walters is one of the most friendly and helpful, uh, helpful colleagues at the Miss the Miskatonic University. He has uh, certainly been of use in answering my questions about pagan cultures. Okay, understanding of astronomy, his own studies remain a mystery as he refuses to discuss them, even with his colleagues. One can't help but wonder whether the study, uh, the study, uh, studage, studage, studigy, uh, uh, the professor is harboring some scandalous secret. Oh, Harvey increases range for the group's magic and ranged attacks. <laughs> it's canned off with a new shave face. Yeah, he does got. Yeah, no, no, look at it from the side. It does look like Gandalf if he was hiding in like plain sight or some shit. And none shall pass. Harvey increases range for groups' magic and ranged attacks. Uh, he can search. Um, his initiative is weak. His melee is weak. His range is average. His magic is average. This dude's just fucking an old man. <laughs> can I uh, pick somebody else? I guess not. Uh, welcome to Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. Who will be your investigator for the new adventure? Well, it doesn't seem like I can pick anybody else. Mental resistance is 45. So from what I understand, the mental resistance will stop me from uh, giving in to the dark forces and making me go insane and ap apparently attacking other people or killing myself. So, um, yay me, I guess. Move aside, boys. It's my turn. Uh oh, isn't she a spitfire? Jenny, as she prefers to be called, is the elder daughter of my friend, friends in Barnes. Despite her natural intelligence and all the advantages her upbringing provided, she never seems to focus on a single pursuit. She's worthless. She prefers to dabble in literature, history, ar archaeology, and virtually any other subject that crosses her path, never gaining expertise in anyone. So kind of a jack of trades, I guess. I guess she would be the the medium person in her. That'd be the you know the uh, most balanced. She certainly does not lack for passion or courage. All right. Jenny cannot be inflicted with the restrained condition. I have no idea what the fuck the restrained condition is, but we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> her, uh, she has a lot of physical prowess. Apparently, I mean she is holding a gun. I mean, who needs strength when you can just pistol whip the shit out of everybody? Right? Initiative is average. Melee is average. Range is strong. Magic is weak. That's right. what you to play. Why does he look like Usher from the caught up music video? Doesn't he look like <laughs> the picture does? But then he looks like a broke version of Usher, like his actual character model. Caught up, got me feeling. Okay, Jim Culver plays his trumpet, <laughs> the skin trumpet. Uh, Jim Carver plays his trumpet as uh, Valma's diner. He inherited the instrument <laughs> from his father, who played the nightclubs. I visited in my younger days. From what I've heard, Jim's father passed along not only the trumpet, but also his talent. Of course, people exaggerate, but the gossip is that Jim's playing made the window, no, the window Jenkins leap out of her her coffin and dance at her own funeral. That's definitely a Southern thing. Nonsense, of course, but that is the sort of story that makes the more superstitious residents of Arkham Void avoid Velma's diner when he is playing. <laughs> you see it too, don't you? Jim increases the group members' mental reason. Oh, I think I want this guy. Because if it's like Darkest Dungeon, I know like stress or I guess insanity will play a big part. Uh, so the, the the female has all the physical strength, and this guy you can um use a manual. This is the pirate version, the pirated version of Asher. <laughs> like, what is he um ticket booth guy? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, chaperone. Yeah, that that's his name. He's not Usher anymore. He's chaperone. Um. Trauma's daydreaming. Um, 
allegophobia, the self mutilation. Oh my god, I, I never noticed the traumas before. Move aside, boys. It's traumas, my turn. daydreaming, inaccurate, allophobia. There's no time like the present. No, he's Usher. No, that that's Usher. That's TDs and all. He plays in a nightclub. Self mutilation. Oh my god. Move aside. That's These traumas are investigate. terrible. I don't even know what the f is she Indian or what the fuck is she? Unlike most of the university staff, Kate uh, Winthrop. Is she a werewolf? Like lycanthrope? I don't know. Winthrop uh, remains as a virtual stranger to me. Even before the death of her mentor professor who she killed, young, <laughs> young she seemed only shy. Since the tragedy, she has become the lonely and aloof, lonely and aloof that our colleagues often forget her name. Goddamn, plain as shit. That's why. But I bet you this big old thing, you know what I'm saying? Perhaps it is just as well since this be, uh, since sparks of Young's death in the unlikeliest of terms. Imagine the bizarre creature from another world devoured him. Most understand that the reaction to be result of an emotional trauma, but has driven her to the most unusual research. I, I don't know. Their, their art does not look like their character model. Like, she like looks Egyptian Jewish. I don't know, man. Like, and what's up with that haircut? She looks like she like beats people after hours I'm prepared what the fuck <laughs> she looks like she just saw the biggest dick in the world look at her she's like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's alright nothing wrong with window shopping from time to time <laughs> the dread just walked in uh it is Miss Cleo. Call me now. I'm ready to invest. I di I didn't even look at. I was I was laughing at her so much. I didn't even look at her troubled past. Kate has a reduced chance to trigger traumas during investigations. Um, she's logical. Uh, she, her ni initiative is weak. Her melee is average. Her range is weak. Magic is average. Daydreaming. Monophobia. What is monophobia? Hold on. I need to figure out. Monophobia. You like Miss Cleo? What is monophobia? Okay. What is monophobia? That's right. I'm literally like, tell me. Autophobia and monophobia make you feel extremely anxious when you're alone. This fear of being alone can affect your relationships, social life, and career. You may also have a fear of abandonment that stems from traumatic childhood experiences. Jesus Christ. This game is teaching me so much. Back to Cleo. Uh, a Tahitian artist, uh, extraordinary talent. Uh, Selfina, that name, makes more money for her uh, reproductions of others work than the original paintings i can understand why having seen her perfect recreation accurate down to the tiniest brush stroke i myself is fortunate enough to have her copy of edward hooper's house of the railroad in my office her recent work has caused quite a stir with her depiction of an alien city she calls caracosa are we doing the king in yellow call me now Tell me your, I'll tell you your future. So, Carcosa. So this has something to do with the King in Yellow. I don't know if you know anything about the King in Yellow, but it's the Dreaming King, and it's three stories. Supposedly, nobody knows who wrote these stories. In real life, nobody knows who wrote these stories. That people believe it's a combination of stories, and that, um, that anybody who reads into it and tries to figure out where it comes from literally I, I believe literally have gone insane so there's supposed it's supposed to be like a cursed book but anybody can read it just can't look too deeply into it and i don't know if you believe that shit or whatever but that's creepy as fuck especially if she's drawing the dreaming city yay i know we get to play a character who drew that i know right i can't wait yay 
Elder Tor, man. You gotta love Elder Tor, you know? Unlike her reproduction of these paintings, seem almost real like uh, photographs, but with perfect color and depth. Zelfina so heals her group more when using healing items or spells. Initiative, uh, manual. I don't know what manual is. Oh, and she gets social. So she gets two. Her initiative is weak, her melee is weak, her range is average, and her magic is average. It's my time in the spotlight. I feel a huge injustice has occurred here today, and it needs addressing. And what's that? Well, this chap has the hair of a pedophile. This man has done all the drugs. Look, <laughs> like, look at this guy's face. That's one hell of a soul to ginger right there, man. That guy, he knows what's up. I think he might be my favorite. <laughs> William Yorick has long desired to make... Wait, uh, William Yorick has long desired to make his name for himself on the stage. Alas, having seen him in a performance of a, the Scottish play, I fear he shall never distinguish himself on the boards. To earn a living, he turned to work as a grave digger, and no one can say he shies away from a hard labor. Some do say, however, that in a lonely hours after funerals, William performs scenes from the dead. Whether or not they appreciate his performance, no one living can say. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. Well, he has more of a chance to resist negative conditions effects. He's very physically strong. Initiative strong. Melee is strong. His range is average. And his magic is average. Daydreaming, monophobia, and self-mutilation. So I'm a cutter. I heed the Lord's call. Oh, she is a Bible thumper. You know she's in the, to, to, to masochism. Nice. <laughs> Such a tragic life. Zoe... Samaris, I think I said that right, has lived. She was only six years old when her parents perished in a fire. Thankfully, her embrace of religion gave her the strength to she needed to preserve. This is Fire Force. Preserve, she has made a decent living for herself as a chef. A chef. A chef. But there is a persistent rumor that she believes that the Lord speaks directly to her, encouraging her to combat the wicked after hours. I hope for her sake that this is only pernic... What? Pernic... Precocious? Gossip. But no one can question her sense of justice. She will be the first to die. <laughs> it's my... She... I heed the Lord's call. She does look like a victim, doesn't she? It's my... I heed She'll be the, the first call. to get possessed and kill the rest of the party. We all know it. I feel it in my soul. Now, I even want to go with the time. Irishman I'm, I'm, that's or Usher. Play. And, um... Ah, uh, I wish I could have Irishman and Usher on the same team. I'm, I'm, it's my time in the spotlight. Usher? You want Usher? Ah, uh, but the Irishman hits people hard. <laughs> like... All right, uh, I gotta listen to the fans, right? I'm ready. That's my cue to play. All right, here we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, here comes my baby. Are you sure you want this? Why are you saying it like that? All right. Are you sure you want to use this? Yes. I'm ready. That's my cue to play. I'm ready Wait, to do I pick more than play. one? So pick. Yes. Or is this yes? All right. I guess gold is no. Yes. No, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. We're going with Usher. We're going with Discount Usher. I'm going to moonwalk and die. Then again, it, I can play the trumpet. I means I'm good at blowing. Maybe the monsters are into that. He does have strong range, though. 
He has a good range. So maybe if I have a pistol or something. I've never played this game. I don't know. I'm just hoping I don't die. Allow me I... to introduce myself. They call me I am Wilhelmina Tillingist, professor of astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. Professor Tillingus must like the blues more than those stuffed shirts at Miskatonic University if she called me out here for a performance. You don't see that too often in an elderly lady. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Justin Bieber is the bad guy. And the Joker. I'm, I'm, I'm Batman now. Uh, what are you up to, Joker? This old woman in the Faversham house and shit. Okay, let's go kill Justin Bieber. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. Is she talking to me in my head? That's kind of interesting. I'd better ring the bell. What? Camera control. All right. Beaver fever. <laughs> That's how he controls us. Do the beaver fever. Got me feeling cut up. Accelerate? Can't it just say run? <laughs> Accelerate the fuck? Oh, that's not. Uh, I guess it is accelerate, not run, huh? Maybe she's hard of hearing. <clears throat> she just talked to me in my mind. How the fuck is she hard of hearing? Oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. There's a light coming from that second floor window. She must be home. Is she dead? <laughs> the door's locked. I ought to find a way in to check on her. Okay, I just want you to paint this scenario. Old white woman, rich old white woman, in the middle of nowhere, black guy breaking into her house to check on her. In the, the, the 40s. Just saying how this is going to play out. I just don't give a f***. You know what I'm saying? White man can eat a dick. Eat my balls, nigga. There he is. Get that nigger. Oh. Hi, I, I got Go on, let's go. Oh, he he's fast. All right. Each scenario has a set of specific object, uh, objectives to complete to progress to the next scenario, such as me being arrested and beaten. Those objectives are displayed in your notebook and are upda <laughs> updated as you complete them. Quick, call number one. What do you look like? He was big, black, and he was wearing a hat, and he looked like Usher. He kept saying he was caught up. I don't know what that means. All right, meet with Professor Tillinghist. Uh, find another way in. Ring the bell. There's no answer at the door. So on the second floor light is turned on. Story. Uh, uh, I am the investigator. And I uh, have no enemies yet. All right. Let's try to go around. Oh, there. Okay. Magnifying glass icon displayed. Or objects can investigate. All right. Uh, professor telling his car. And the engine appears to be cold. Nice investigative skills there. Maybe I am Batman. Well, let's not give him that. Um, let's let's give him that that whack ass Duke Robin that's in the comic books now. Nobody likes Duke. Oh, I can't wait to break in. Uh, the gate is shut. You came in the other side, the courtyard. It'd be lovely for a long walk when the weather is fine, not like today. All right, 
So this is um already starting out poorly. Is there anything over here? Uh, I my battery's low. Shit. Uh, you can see a beautiful flowers in the greenhouse. Professor the Tillingist must be a passionate gardener. I like how he actually pulls out a magnifying glass to say that. That uh, makes all the sense in the world. So, so far, do you like this? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Red? Do we have a sleeper hit on our hands? Basement must be behind this trap door. You have no reason to go in there. The professor's waiting for you. Ah! <laughs> okay. Crack. Gotcha. Ah! Uh, box beneath the first floor window. This is a. Invite you to take the way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. Not making this any better for you, man. I hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. What I need is something heavy to smash this window. Now, when I get to the combat, I'm going to really know. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, it's supposed to be like Darkest Dungeon. So, actions with objects may ask you to choose the best action out of several possible actions. These are called complex complex interactions. Ooh, all right. Uh, wheelbarrow stands abandoned on the lawn. Perhaps you'll find something inside to help you break the window. Look through. Yeah, let's look through. Item found. Inside the wheelbarrow, you find a heavy pair of bolt cutters. Just a thing for smashing a window. Let's look around a little more. I have never played it. I, I own it. Um, It seemed a little overwhelming. Uh, I've watched other people play it. I think I might be ready to take that challenge on. Uh, here stands a car in which you arrive. Before leaving, you should meet Professor Tillinghurst. I do wish he moved a little faster. Not gonna lie. All right, now I know I'm on my way to. That's what I was looking at before. I don't think I can get through here though. Kinda. No. Is there a way through here? Nah, it looks like uh, looks like I gotta break this window. I don't think with the bolt cutters I can. Uh, ooh, wait, can I break open the um, this? Yeah, you can see a beautiful. Flower. No, I can't. I figure because it had a lock on it, maybe I could cut it off, but no. Really don't want to break this woman's window. Oh, right into the wall. Yeah. How dare you smash my window? I hope you intend to have it replaced. I hope this really is an emergency and the professor forgives me. Anyway, I can't apologize until I find her. Where would she be? Check the sex room. Old lady's always in the sex room. I would know. I played those type of games too. A beautiful piano. You don't recall the professor mentioning that she could play. Judging from the dust on the instrument, you doubt that it sees much use. A large painting of a comet hurling through this night sky. It's part of Cocosa. It seems the professor's interest in astronomy colored her taste in art as well. 
Oh, Carcosa. Sweet Carcosa. No. A broken vase. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. Why did he move like that? I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her. There was a firefight. Let's check this. If you're an investigator, have the knowledge uh, have the knowledge required. They will offer advice on the best course of action if there is not the case they will tell you nothing uh, uh, let's see what action makes this mythos clock go faster i don't know what the mythos clock is uh put together and a close inspection the fractured object reveals it was a vase based on its position you think it fell from the small table nearby since the fragments are free of dust you deduce it broke recently. That scream came from upstairs. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Professor, was that you? Of course it was. Hurry. No answer. There must be someone else in the house. I ought to find a weapon. Certain events will force a, san uh, a sanity check. Each investigator mental resistance score determines their chance of success to resist it. When sanity reaches zero, the investigator in question suffers from a trauma, which gives them a penalty. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, look inside you spot that there might be something useful. You have found a new item, a knife. It's a sharp knife. A sharp blade stick uh stick them in with the pointy end. Huh, funny. Durability? Yeah. Cost three action points. Damage six to seven. Critical hit thirty percent. You found a weapon while searching. Select the weapon by pressing the X. Move the cursor with Okay. So, move. Okay. By pressing circle. That knife might come in handy if I run into trouble. You think? What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? I'm about to open somebody's ass. What is this? Hmm. Shurek. Saving. Gotta accelerate. I don't know how much time I have. So there was a sanity clock. There was lock. Okay. I guess I'm heading upstairs. What the hell is that noise? Uh, this way. The scream must have come from the other side of the. That's my office door. All right. Uh, well organized bookshelf with something in it. Uh, found the item cigarettes. Gives plus one to sanity. Okay. Move. Ooh. Large wooden chest. It doesn't seem locked, but something else prevents you from opening it. Uh, do I have enough physical? Shake. Uh, the investigation, you may draw the attention of great old ones. This is called mythos. The mythos clock fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen. During a complex interaction at the end of a full round of combat. When the Mephos clock is full, the great old ones will intervene to slow you down. Be on your guard. Oh, fuck. Uh, shake. 
Uh, you open the chest, it finds a full book lying atop a single sheet of paper on which the written recipe for apple fritters. Man, I got shit on by because I wanted some apple fritters. Peel core slice apples across from two, then dip into a frying pan. Remove one at a time. Fork drop carefully into a fryer. Remove from the fryer, then reach a pale golden brown. Then drain dust with powdered sugar. Oh my god. And lemon. I kind of want to make that now, actually. Alright, so I gotta wait. I gotta be careful of the great old ones. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. I am feeling that walk, though. Painting of cats. All these tend to like cats. You do emit, it emits a sense of calm. The uh, door doesn't lead to the professor telling you this. Alright, what about this room? The door doesn't lead to where the professor is. Okay. Uh, the professor's scream is locked. I need a key. Uh, hmm. Uh, the key's definitely not up here. Okay. Reflection gaze back at you from the scrupulous clean bathroom in the mirror. this lock by me what's over shit all right yelling well I think we're gonna die <laughs> those old ones are on their fucking way they're gonna roll up and beat the fuck out of me aren't they right, that's the door I went in the last time. Oh, that is creepy as shit. Uh, toilet around the room carefully. Does the child even touch them? What child? Who's there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? The professor had some idea of hiring me to perform some music for her. I'm Jim Culver. When she didn't answer the door, I got worried and came in. Then I heard her scream and came upstairs. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. How has he not shot me yet? Is Professor Tillingus a suspect in some crime? She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. I'll help you find that key. Awesome, we got two people now. Let's open this guy's sheet. Alright, what can you do? He's logical, he's uh, got strong initiative, melee is average, his range is strong, his magic is weak. Uh, daydreaming, initiative is slightly lower, cigarette addict, urge to smoke a cigarette low. Uh, inaccurate. A slightly less chance of getting a critical hit. All right, so he's got a strong weapon. He just can't fucking shoot it. I first met Agent Roland Banks when he visited my home to ask me whether I knew anything about some strange group of people. He seemed to have a little more than vague heard a little more than vague rumors to investigate. And to be honest, I still don't entirely understand what he was after. Still, he seemed honest, if not open, and he has a broad <laughs> he has the broad shoulders and quiet confidence one likes to see in members of the Bureau of Investigation. He certainly appeared to be the sort of person who would call for help 
Roland has more chance of dealing a critical hit in combat, but his traumas. Okay, so he's logical. Alright. Um, things are up. Hey, among other garment uh, ornaments, a key tagged office hanging from the mob mobile. What a clever place to keep a spare key. Yeah, that is actually pretty slick. There's a key on this mobile. My files say Dillingus has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, what does R2 do? What does this do? Oh, okay. I haven't ran into any enemies yet. Okay. So I guess I can keep three people on me at all times. So no mythos yet. He's got a gun and I have a knife. Wait a minute. Shouldn't that should be a quit, right? Uh equip this punch. No. Equip. Equip the knife. Oh, I'm glad I looked at that. And, uh. Ooh, that would have been bad. Alright, six to seven, uh, seven to eight. Alright, I think we're ready, buddy. Alright, can I save it? Ooh. Alright, confirm. Unlock. Key fits. Unlock the door. What? Who? I like how everybody put their hand. It's like <laughs> just gonna fight it out in this hall, this small ass hallway. An intruder. How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? Listen, pal. You've got some explaining to do. Come then. I have just the explanation you deserve. With my dick. What? Turn-based combat. Combat is turn-based. Every character acts one after the other without the, without time constraints. The order of each attacker is based on their initiative. Roll at the start of combat and is displayed at the top of the screen on the initiative bar. So I guess that's that green aura around my head. Okay. Each character has five action points to spend each turn. Each action has specific action point costs. Once validated, an action cannot be undone except for movement. Okay. There are three types of weapons, melee, ranged, and spellbook. Each investigator has different aptitudes with the various weapon types. This aptitude will affect the action point cost of the attack confirm. Okay. Am I close enough to hit him with the knife? Impossible to reach. So I'm going to have to move. All right. Confirm. Cultus. That's right. I don't know if this gun has bullets. It does have bullets. Three. Uh, should I use my bullets? Let's see. I did seven attack. Uh. Hmm. I um. 
Good punching. I think punching. See, if I did seven, he has 12 health. I, I needed to shoot him. Yeah. What's going on? We'd better have a look inside. Oh, what's this over here? Yes, please. I'll take this. Move. Uh, I'll go down. What else is here? Well, I was on top of a small table. Hey, give me a second. Awesome. Did not know there was a save button right here. Why did my uh, elder points go up? My mythos. Who in blazes are you? What happened here? Is that. Wait. That's me. That is, it, it's my body. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them. Awesome. Uh, let's focus on one at a time. What is this? Move. Alright. Call this. Six. Right. Dead. Then turn. Once you're out of action points, you want to end your turn. Okay. I am not out of action points though. Or do I need three action points to shoot? What is this Overwatch? Oh, can I use two points to Overwatch? This action is called Overwatch. When selecting Overwatch as a combat action, your investigator will get ready to attack the first enemy that moves within a weapon's range. Select the direction of attacking. Okay. Pop. <laughs> oh, nine. What the fuck? After all the characters have had their turn to attack, the Mythos clock fills up. Be on guard. those cloaked figures this wasn't just a burglary you're right about that must be connected to my investigation we better have a look around okay anything over here oh what about this clock Continues ticking away the seconds, uh, inconsiderate of the trouble of the terror crime of the poet. The poets assure us should have stopped its function. Uh, not exactly sure what that means. Hmm. The desk drawer is locked, you'll need to open it before searching inside. Um, Oh, that's the manual. Oh, okay. What? He has lockpicking skills. Inside the drawer, the tucked various notebooks. At a glance, you find nothing related to the murder. Hmm. 
but it's clear that Professor Tillinghurst was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. Look at these notebooks. Is this the professor's handwriting? It is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here, but perhaps Professor Tilling has kept notes on this material in another location. Oh, excuse me. What's this over here? Uh, logical. We should be able to put some uh, some of the objects back together. Uh, fragment of glass glitter on the floor. We can't tell how the glass is. Uh, resembling most of the shattered uh, container, you say flask that probably came from a laboratory. You can make out the printed words Miska Uni Science Lab. <laughs> Probably university. Uh. I hope this broken glass doesn't mean there's been trouble. Yeah, a broken jaw, a flask. You make out a few letters. Miska, Uni, S Lab. Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. Close on the floor, a large glyph has been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. It was certain Professor Tillinghurst was deliberately killed above it. What you aren't certain of is why you feel the stability of your mind shatter and sanity check. Okay. What's this weird symbol drawn on the floor? Is that blood? My nice clean floor. Ruined. That looks like some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. Uh, definitely the professor telling her, and there's no question she is dead. Uh, fuck. When the moment met those clap is full the methods event is triggered resulting in a penalty for the group also your group will need to resist the great old one's influence or lose sanity all right you feel no you hear no 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 what is this this is wrong your head is about to explode the investigators must check their insanity deep weeping wound on her abdomen appears to be the cause of death judging by the wetness it appears it was she was killed recently you feel the stability of your mind shatter sandy check poor professor tillingist such a terrible death despite my age i had much more to do in life this wound on her stomach looks like she was knifed we found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so, my friend set out to discover how I was killed. 